Hey, I just wanted to give a quick thanks to one of our sponsors of the Simple Program, which is Dev Mountain Bootcamp. You should go check them out. The link is in the description. They are a coding bootcamp and they can teach you web development, iOS development, UX design, a lot of good stuff. I get a lot of feedback from a lot of you out there that email me and have told me about Dev Mountain, so I decided to check them out myself. And I, I like what I found. I like their programs. They offer uh, some 12 week intensive programs. They also offer some after hours programs, which I know that some of you will like. So go check them out. You can see the link in the description below, Dev Mountain Bootcamp, and a big thank you to them for sponsoring Simple Programmer. Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. <laughs> like how I said that, programmer.com. I like to entertain myself when I'm recording videos sometimes. But today, I got a question for you about senior year elections at IT and IT ambitions. So uh, this question is from Hinock, and Hinock says, what senior year elective should a student get if they want to do an information technology course or computer science slash development degree? Thanks in advance. All right, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go off the script here. Well, I don't really have a script, but I'm gonna go off the reservation here and I'm gonna recommend some stuff. I'm, I'm gonna do what I do all the time. It's not really fucking answer your question. <laughs> I'm gonna answer my question, the question I wanna answer. No, I, I guess I'm gonna answer the question, but it's, it's not gonna be what you think. So I'm not gonna tell you about what kind of electives that you should take that's gonna make you the best software developer. Because really, to be honestly true, to be honest here, I don't, I don't like traditional education and college programs. I don't, I don't feel, I feel like most of them don't actually prepare you for the real world. They're a lot of money, a lot of debt, and it, it's not the, not the best way to learn to learn shit anymore. We're, we're not in the, the era where information was so guarded and the only place to go to get information was a university because that's where you could find it. We have the Googles, okay? We have the internet, we have all the information in the world at our fingertips. There is, there's no secret stuff that we have to just go to a university and pay big bucks to be part of and to be initiated into. You can find anything you want on the internet for free. <laughs> now searching for it is, might be a hassle, so it might be worth paying to have someone have that bundled up for you in some place, but you can usually find that for fairly cheap, okay? Not to totally knock education, if you're in college, great, awesome, do a good job and learn something while you're there. Don't just fucking get the degree, at least take advantage of as much as you can to learn and to use that time to network, to do whatever you can to, to do that, to get that, getting that piece of paper could help you, right, again. I'm not, I'm not knocking that. If you want to see all the videos I've done about college and, and degrees and all that and, and what I recommend, because I actually have a path that I recommend that can save you a lot of money, check out this playlist here. All right, but let's get to this actual question. So what I want to say about this is that, and the reason why I went on that little rant about college first is because I don't believe that it's so critical that you pick any kind of electives, but what I would say is this. This is what I would do if I'm in college because Okay, you can learn this stuff on your own. Learning to be a programmer, right, is all about writing code, building stuff, working on projects. You can intern, you can build your own project, you can go out on GitHub and contribute to a project, right? There's a lot of options that you can have. You can build your own app and put it in the app store. I recommend that all the time as a way to get experience and to learn how to actually build a real application that you could actually sell and make money, right? There's so many options available today. So college is not, you know, so, so what I would say is I would use my electives in college to have fun and learn about stuff that's fun and really interesting to me, okay? So I, the, only, the only requirements that I would have in picking my electives, honestly, I'd be learning what I need to learn for my job. I, that's my responsibility. I'm gonna learn that on my own, okay, and, and through the core, the, the core stuff. But as far as if you want to, you know, as far as electives, that's fun. Let's have some fun here, okay? Go and see, what, what, what do you like? What, what is interesting to you, right? Maybe outside of the realm. I mean, that, there's a, if there's an advantage to college, it's this. It's that you do have the diversity, that you do have the options, that there's a, a bunch of bullshit that's not gonna help you in your career, but it might be fun to learn and to get that perspective. So, hell, and when I did go to college for the year that I did, I took I took theater arts. That was that was freaking that was very interesting shit. That was fun. I went and saw some plays. It got me into theater. I still still my favorite form of entertainment today is to go to a, a good theater production. I'd I love to do theater sometimes. I used to do acting. It, it actually got me into acting. Went through a whole modeling and acting phase early early on in my career. Hopefully, Rudiger doesn't put video pictures up. <laughs> but uh, 
Anyway, my point is this, right? Go and just just find the stuff that's going to be interesting to you that that is just out, maybe outside the wheelhouse, or it might be it might be programming related stuff. It might be that you're really interested in how operating systems work or compilers, if that's not in your core curriculum, and and that's really interesting to you. So go find that out, and especially if there maybe there's a real good professor that's an expert at your college in in that area, and so you you want to get the cutting edge information from this guy. Good, go go do that, but don't don't sweat that so much, right? That the, the electives are not going to make or break you. You shouldn't if you're going to college. College and you're thinking that that they're going to prepare you for the real world for workforce that's bad that no one no one can teach you anything you are responsible for your own education you have to learn so you shouldn't be going in there with that attitude what you should be doing is taking it upon yourself that you're gonna to have to learn whatever you need to learn and hopefully these classes will help you this is gonna get you a piece of paper and maybe you're gonna learn some other things and and be in that environment right it shouldn't be about that about preparing for the job because it, it, it doesn't make sense it's not gonna happen I hope that helps you I hope that doesn't discourage you hopefully you can have some fun too right I mean this I give you permission to do the electives that, that seem interesting and fun to you, so long as you get the, the core stuff down, right? So, all right. If you like this video and you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button below. And if you really like the video and you really want to get all the videos, click the bell. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.